Lot 461 is Ruth Bernhardt's Nude in the Box. Bernhardt focused on the female nude um, for much of her mature career, but what's interesting about the, the nude form in her body of work is that she wasn't attracted to a particular type. She really photographed women of all shapes, of all sizes, of different races and ethnicities. And really what she was interested in rendering was the beauty of the female form. So this particular image, the negative was created in 1962. And again, like many photographers, when given an opportunity, since this is one of her most iconic images, revisited that negative and recreated it using the platinum technique. For the collector of female nudes, this Ruth Bernhardt photograph is a must-have. It's a classical image. It's a nude study that um, is timeless, that elevates the form. Um, it's an iconic photograph. In some ways, it's a disturbing photograph, but Ruth Bernhardt handles the material in such a manner that, in the end, it's highly aestheticized. Lot 519 is Roy de Carava's portfolio containing 12 dust grain photogravures of Harlem figures and street scenes. De Carava is an African-American photographer who actually began his career as a printmaker. He studied with Bob Blackburn uh, in New York City and at a certain point was making prints uh, while he was a student at Cooper Union and um, was given a 35 millimeter camera which he began to use to create material for his later printmaking. And what happened was the magic of the camera spoke to de Carava in a way that printmaking um, didn't. And so he basically focused on Harlem as his subject matter. Uh, he did a lot of photographs of musicians. Among the images in this portfolio is a portrait of Billie Holiday. Um, he did portraits of people in their homes. Um, there's a real intimacy in de Carava's work, a real kind of sense of quiet contemplation that is um, underscored by the type of photographic print that he created. He uses as his sort of spectrum the darkest areas of the photographic paper so that looking at these prints, one really is drawn in and engaged by the technique and process of making photographs. And that is absolutely beautifully translated in the photogravures in this portfolio. Because again, the photogravures rely on the original negative. And because de Carava had experience as a printmaker, and creating photogravures is the photographic equivalent of pulling a print, he really um, made an extraordinary series of images. I mean, one is, is truly more breathtaking and spectacular than the next. And once again, he's revisiting older work, negatives from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. So it's his personal selection of 12 images that he felt were personally important. And they're produced on these large sheets of beautiful paper housed in the original box and um, just a really beautiful representation of his work. From early monographs to prized examples of photographic literature, as well as the first photographs, daguerreotypes, to contemporary artworks exploring color, this sale encompasses the full world of photography.